Hey y'all, welcome back or welcome to my channel. So today I'm going to be showing y'all how to do an at-home lash set because y'all know lashes be expensive and then they don't be worth it because they be falling out shortly after and then you gotta get a refill and then you gotta be charged a full price visit. No. So I'm gonna show y'all how to do it at home. I did a maintenance video last week and I think this is like the only thing I didn't do in that video that I normally do at home every now and then. So I figured this week I will show y'all how to do a lash set. So yeah, I'm gonna start off by showing y'all everything you're gonna need first and then we'll get into it. So these first four items come in a kit off of Amazon. So I'm gonna show y'all those first. So first up, we have the last shampoo. This comes in the kit. You're gonna need this. I'm gonna use this before applying and then you're gonna need this to wash your lashes like while you had them in. So there's that. And it also comes with, so here's the last shampoo right here. And then it comes with a spoolie and a brush. So yeah, it comes with a spoolie and a brush for you to like, you know, apply the shampoo with and brush through your lashes. So all that comes in that box. Also a part of that kit is this little bottle, the little bottle with the nozzle to rinse your lashes off when you do wash them with the shampoo. So this comes with that as well. It also comes with this little cleaning sponge. I'm not sure what you do with this. I'm assuming you can just wipe over your eyes with it. I don't know. And then it comes with a fan. Recharge while you charge it right here. The air comes out right here. So all those things come in the same kit. And then the next thing, lash tweezers, the skinny ones. I got these from the beauty supply store with the pointed end. So these, and then the lash glue, that's the lash bond on this side and the seal on this side. This is also on Amazon. I'll link all that in my storefront. And then I also bought these spoolies. It's a kit of spoolies off of Amazon. Just a bunch of them just to have to brush your lashes with or whatever I use on my eyebrows too. And then of course your lashes. So these are the lashes that I got. This is from VI's Beauty. These are all over TikTok, but I got this kit and I also bought their lash remover. These are the lashes. And then it also comes with tweezers and this kit, it comes with tweezers. So yeah, that's everything. So now we're gonna get started. So first thing I'm gonna do is wash my lashes with the lash shampoo, just so my lashes are clean and you know, the glue and everything holds for as long as we can get it to clean the lashes first. Okay, now I'm just gonna dry them with the fan just so they're not wet. Okay, so moving on to the actual lashes. This also comes with bond and seal in here. So I don't know if I should use this one or the one I've been using. I'll stick with the one I've been using. So this is the lash map I'm gonna be following. You can find any lash map that you want to. I got this one off of TikTok, I believe, but you can find some on Pinterest or whatever you wanna follow based on like the look you're trying to get. So I just wanted like a little cat eye type of look. So she did 15 on the outer corner, 12, 11, 10, 9, and 8 all the way to the inner. So I don't know if this one comes with a 15 millimeter, but it does come with 14 and 16. So I think I'll do 14, 14, 12, 10, is there an eight in here? I don't even see an eight, an eight millimeter in here. Does this one have an eight? Okay, this one has an eight. So here's um, some more lashes that I got. I didn't think I was gonna need these, but these are also from VI's Beauty Lash Cluster. So I'm gonna use some of these because I don't see any eight millimeters in here. I'm gonna use the tweezers that they did give me in the kit instead of my own. See how these work. Cause these are designed a little bit different than the ones I have. And I just want something natural. I don't want nothing too crazy with my lashes. You can add however much volume you want to. You can stack however many clusters you want to and make it as thick as you want, but I don't want anything too crazy, so. I'm gonna start down here with the 20D clusters and then add some light volume fans here and there. But I'll let y'all know which ones I use. So first you wanna apply the lash bond side. Obviously that says number one. So you would apply this one first. So the lash bond you're gonna put on the base of your lashes and also on the lash itself. Also another tip, put some of the lash seal on your tweezers so that glue and the lashes don't get stuck to this. So I'm gonna go ahead and put the seal on the tweezers first. So now I'm applying the lash bond 
only to the base of my lashes. You're not like right at the root and you don't want it too close to your lash line either when you apply the lash because then it'll be uncomfortable, it's gonna hurt, it's gonna stick you and you'll feel them, you're not supposed to feel them. So yeah, you just apply this to the base, don't brush it through like mascara on all your lashes or they'll all be clumped together. Learn that the hard way. Now I'm just gonna do like little by little each section so the glue isn't drying before I get to the next section. Okay, then I'm taking my, what was it, 14 millimeters, and I'm just gonna put some right there, like right on the base. I also meant to tell y'all to put some lash seal on your bottom lashes too, so the glue doesn't stick to that, because that is what's happening to me right now. And you just... Let me go ahead and put some of this seal on my bottom lashes. I'm gonna take another 14. All right, so next I'm gonna add in the 12 millimeters. I'll do like two of those. I'll apply some more lash bond to the next section, just right at the base. And then you just take the other side of your tweezers and push them up. Make sure they're stuck. Okay, so I have two 12, I mean, I have two 14s, two 12s. And another thing I'm doing when I'm applying the lash, I'm overlapping just a little bit the one that I applied before it. So it like blends, you know? So I've done two 14s, two 12s, and I'm gonna do two 10 millimeters. Okay, I think I actually need to do three tens because I don't have a nine. I know nine was the next one on the map. So I think I need to do three tens and then I'll move on to the eight millimeters. So I'm gonna do another 10. I probably should just use them all out of this kit because I don't think these are like the same style. Yeah, these definitely aren't the same style, but I'm gonna use them anyway because I don't have nothing else. I'm gonna apply some more tins. I probably should've did like three 12s. And I probably did three of each size cause I need another 10 before I start doing eights. I feel like I still have to go all the way to here. So I'm gonna add another 10. All right, now I'm about to start adding my eights. My light just died. We're gonna keep going. Still just adding eights all the way to the inner corner. Okay, and that's as far as I'm going with this eye. I'm gonna go back and add some light volume 14s on the outer corners. All right, so I just added four of those light volume fans, four of the 14 millimeter light volume fans on the outer corner. Yeah, and then that's it. That's all I'm gonna do. I don't think I want it any thicker than this. We're gonna go ahead and apply the lash seal and that's it. And I'm gonna do the other eye off camera. Just apply it to the base like that. My light keeps dying.
All right, and that's it. So I'm gonna let that dry. I'm gonna do the other eye off camera and then I'll come back. All right, y'all, so I just did the other eye off camera. This is what it looks like. I did try the other lash glue that came with the lashes and I do like the applicator on that better for the glue side, but I like the applicator on the seal side better on the Amazon. But anyway, you're all done. So yeah, that is it for the video, you guys. Hope you all enjoyed. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see y'all in the next one. Bye.